Let's get set up and record. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be making baked lasagna. So let's first start with our meat ingredients. I'm using grass fed beef and Jimmy Dean's ground pork sausage. So I'm going to grease my pan. This is a whole sausage roll and this is a whole pack of grass fed beef. So let's get into it. We're going to brown our meat. Chop it up nice. Let me put this back some. There we go. We're going to brown it up. Maybe turn it down a little. I'm going to add all oh, this. I'm going to add three teaspoons of minced garlic. I'm also going to add about a tablespoon of garlic parsley. I'm going to be adding Spice King's Gourmet All-Purpose Seasoning. About a tablespoon. Okay. Some sage. I'm going to add sage to it. Mm. About two teaspoons. This up real good. We want to get all the flavors inside our meat. We want to turn it down a little. If it's starting to get too hot, we don't want to burn our garlic. Okay. And we don't want our meat to get tough. Spray a little bit more grapeseed spray on it. What I'm also going to do is add my Italian seasoning. About a teaspoon. And now I'm going to add my onion powder, about a tablespoon, and garlic powder, another tablespoon, and my white cooking wine, about a quarter of a cup, and last but not least, my tomato paste. 
about two teaspoons. I'm gonna mix this all together. Again. <laughs> so I don't dump everything at once. I usually go half, mix it up, and then add the other half of ingredients to it. Once it gets a nice brown, we don't want it to burn or get hard like hamburger meat. I want it to stay almost like a medium rare or over medium, depending on what you prefer. Because we're gonna cook it down with our pasta sauce. So I like my meat to just have a little pink to it. Something that I can work with. And now I'm gonna begin adding my pasta sauce. Very simple. I'm using barilla, tomato, and basil. Um, I'm just going to add a dash of sugar to balance out the flavor. Some people like sugar in there. Some people don't. Just about a teaspoon. That should be sufficient. And a dash of sea salt. One dash. So we're just gonna let this cook. I like to cook my meat for an hour. Might be a little extreme for some, but I like to simmer it for one hour. I'm gonna put a lid on it and let it cook. So we have a nice, meaty, thick lasagna sauce for our lasagna. Okay.
one egg. About a cup of ricotta. And some garlic parsley. That's pretty much it. Doesn't need salt or any of that in it. I already added salt to the meat and to the to the pasta sauce. So I'm just going to add a cup in here. Okay. Some garlic powder. A little parsley. I'm going to add a lot of that to it. About a tablespoon. I'm going to put a little glue in it too. Why not, right? Add a little glue to the ricotta. Break the egg. Ooh, I'm making a mess. And now I'm just going to mix it. And this is what the ricotta will look like. It's pretty much like that. Okay. sauce my pasta sauce to the sheets and basically I'm gonna go sheet sauce cheese ricotta sheet sauce cheese ricotta all the way up until I get back to the sheet and then put some pasta sauce on top okay so I'm going to be baking my lasagna for 25 minutes at 375 degrees covered with aluminum foil and then I'm going to uncover them and bake them for an extra 10 minutes at 375 degrees. That's the instructions that we will give you in using their oven ready lasagna sheets.
video here are my final results of my lasagna I just wanted to show you all so you all can get a good look at it if you like please try this recipe the lasagna came out beautiful my husband enjoyed this plate please like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching my video and remember to stay safe and always try to think positive because things could be a whole lot worse.